Hello students, welcome to EPG Parchala. I am Dr. P. M. Reddy from the Energy and Resources Institute. Today we, are, today we are going to talk on module plant viruses as expression vectors under the paper Plant Biotechnology and Crop Improvement. The learning objectives of this module are why we use plant viral vectors and what are the advantages of these vectors. To familiarize with the DNA and RNA viruses and how they are modified to utilize them as viral vectors. Third, to understand the key features of viral vectors. And finally, to comprehend the modes of viral vector mediated gene transfer and expression in plant cell. Viruses are very small submicroscopic infectious particles called virions, composed of a protein coat and a nucleic acid core. Viruses are highly evolved natural vectors for the transfer of genetic information into host cell. Taking advantage of their simple genomic structure, several viral vectors have been developed to express foreign genes in plant cells. Thus, virus modified in the laboratory environment for the purpose of introducing genetic material into a cell is called a viral vector. To improve the safety, they have to be made replication defective. Hence, viral vectors are generated by replacing the disease-causing genes of virus by the genes of interest. Viral vector is used as a vehicle to transfer and express foreign genes in the host cell. Plant viral expression technology has rapidly become one of the most popular methods to express pharmaceutical proteins in plants. Plant virus expression vectors, which have been engineered to generate vaccines and other pharmaceutical proteins, are predominantly derived by modifying genomes of viruses like tobacco mosaic virus, potato virus X, cauliflower mosaic virus, etc. Indeed, plants represent a safe, efficacious, and inexpensive production platform to produce vaccines and other therapeutic proteins to the world's poor. The process of delivering the foreign gene or genetic material using virus or viral vector is known as transduction. Viral plasmids have been engineered such that they can be delivered to a host and generate virus, similar to natural viruses that deliver genetic material into host and generate virus. This is explained in these uh, figures, which are on the left side of the, the slide. Viral plasmids are modified for research purposes, such that when delivered into host, they give rise to viruses with modified genomes. That's a B panel of the, of the slide. Why use plant viral vectors? Viruses are obligate intracellular parasites and are very efficient in transferring viral DNA into the host cells. They infect specific target cells depending on the viral attachment proteins known as capsids or glycoproteins present in viral coat. In these vectors, non-national genes of virus can be replaced by the gene of interest, which is known as gene replacement method. Since viral genome replicates independently of host genome, it results in gen the generation of numerous copies of genome and hence enable high levels of gene expression. Thus, this property of genome rep replication was exploited by scientists to produce a large quantities of foreign gene products in plant cells. Features of expression vectors. Generally, these expression vectors have a wide host range. Viral genome does not integrate into plant genome. Similarly, viral vectors are episomal, 
therefore they have a high copy number per cell and hence the gene product is very rapidly accumulated and the virus is symmetrically spread throughout the plant body desired characteristics of expression vectors what are the characteristics for vector construction following points should be taken into consideration always number 1 vector should have a broad host range two vector should be easy to transfer three vector should be stable so that the genes can be expressed at high levels in the plants the key properties for a viral expression vectors include first safety that means viral vectors are modified in such a way as to minimize the risk of handling and using them it usually involves the deletion of a part of the viral genome critical for viral trans- transmission if they should be of low toxicity viral vector should have a minimal effect on physiology of cell it infects it should not change the physiology third stability some viruses are genetically unstable and can rapidly rearrange their genomes this is detrimental to predictability and reproducibility of work conducted using viral vector and need to be avoided the another important factor to be considered is cell type specificity most viral vectors are engineered to infect a wide range of cell types as possible viral receptor can be modified to target the virus to a specific kind of cell viruses were modified in this manner are said to be pseudotyped identification viral vectors are often incorporated with marker genes that help identify the host cells where the viral genes are expressed we'll take some examples of the different types of viruses which are used to construct vectors first colimo virus which are very popular for vector construction first the characters of this viral type they contain circular double stranded dna virus spherical in shape this group includes 15 types of viruses of which cauliflower mosaico virus is the most important for gene transfer transmitted by mechanical means as well as affid mediated virion dna is infectious when simply rubbed on leaves viral dna amplifies to a large copy number this is approximately 10 to 6 copies per cell it takes about 3 to 4 weeks for systemic infection throughout plant one of the examples of this colimo virus is cauliflower mosaic virus as i have already indicated and the characteristics of this virus include it contains a, a circular dna seven orfs on cauliflower mosaic virus can be translated into seven different proteins translation of seven proteins from two different man transcripts orf2 is dispensable that means you can clone the gene of your interest the promoter of the 35s rna is a very strong constitutive promoter responsible for the transcription of whole camv genome use of camv in gene transfer CMV does not contain any non-coding region within foreign DNA uh, can be inserted. Wherein foreign DNA can be inserted. Cauliflower mosaic virus has a non-essential gene named gene 2 which can be replaced by the gene of interest. Native assembly of virus should not get interfered by the foreign gene insertion. So the foreign gene must be encapsulated in viral protein for effective transmission of cauliflower mosaic virus advantage of this virus is systemic infection makes this virus an attractive and effective vector first report using this virus viral vector was reported by Bryson et al 1984 who transferred cauliflower mosaic virus vector containing 
bacterial DHFR gene into a turnip plant to confirm resistant to methotrexate. Subsequently, several other genes were expressed in plants using this particular vector. What are the challenges of using uh, cauliflower mosaic virus vector? In this case, the major problems are infective capacity is lost if few hundreds of nucleotides are introduced. That means we cannot introduce large genes. Only gene 2 could tolerate insertion of significant size and could be entirely removed. But the largest insert tolerated so far is to a maximum of 531 base pairs. Exceeding natural genome size is not effectively suitable for gene transfer. Complicated polycystonic design, that is ATG of cloned DNA, must not interfere with the termination sequence of gene 1. Gemini viruses is the another type of viruses and they also have some unique characteristics. They have a geminated morphology, hence the name Gemini viruses. Its genome size is approximately 2.6 to 3 kb. Single, constitutes of single standard DNA can cause the disease in cereals, cassava, tomato, etc. Capsids are icosahedral with a dimension about 10 to 20 nanometers. It's a D, a genome replication is by rolling circle mechanism. Most are transmitted by insects and they cannot be transmitted through mechanical injury. Double standard DNA form of virus genome is not infectious and coat protein gene is not required for systemic infection. Since double standard DNA form of virus is not infectious, this particular problem can be overcome by cloning viral genome into TI plasmid and carrying out agro infection. Gemini viruses, the genome structure is another type of viruses. Gemini viruses are the smallest, they contain smallest viral genome, approximately 2.7 kb. There are several types of Gemini viruses or have been reported. They can be either monopartite or bipartite. Monopartite viral particle is wheat dwarf virus, which contains single standard cDNA coding for four different proteins. And the example of bipartite virus is tomato golden mosaic virus. It is bipartite one. It has got a DNA A and B, both are single strand. DNA A codes for replication for protein, transactivation of sense gene, genes, and uh, delayed or attenuated symptoms. And the DNA B codes for two different protein products, BC1, BV1. They are used in transmission of virus, spread of virus throughout the plant. Use of Gemini virus in gene transfer. Gemini viruses can accumulate to extremely high copy numbers in infected cells, resulting in tremendous levels of gene expression. For many years, they have been investigated as potential expression vectors for the production of vaccines and other biopharmaceutical proteins. A removal of the capsid protein open reading frame disabled the ability of virus to become encapsidated or remove from or move from cell to cell, resulting in a contained infection of Gemini viruses. May streak virus and wheat dwarf virus were demonstrated to express reporter proteins in this fashion to extremely high levels in plant cells. Advantages of using Gemini virus in gene transfer include Gemini virus vectors are able to function in much in a much broader range of plants. These viruses lack stability issues and their RNA virus vector, unlike their RNA virus vector counterparts, 
Gemini viruses also seem to have developed several means to evade gene silencing, an issue that in hinders many plant expression systems. The ability to express several proteins in tandem and at comparable levels from a single construct provide added value over other virus vectors. For example, Binyalo dwarf virus vector. Preferred to generate this virus, this vector is preferred to generate vaccines and other therapeutic proteins from plants. Challenges using Gemini virus vector is the serious drawback in applying Gemini virus as a vector is that it is very difficult to introduce purified viral DNA into plant cells. To circumvent this, an alternate arrangement is to take the help of agrobacterium and carry out gene transfer through agro infection. An example of this is tobacco mosaic virus and its characteristics include tobacco mosaic virus is a rod shaped virus that has a single standard plus sense RNA genome. It's a monopartheid virus in the genome. This codes for it has a three open reading frames and code for four different proteins. Two viral genes that code for viral moment protein and the capsid protein are expressed from separate subgenomic promoters, which are at the end of this RNA genome. One can express foreign genes by either replacing viral code protein gene with a gene of interest or by inserting an additional subgenomic promoter into the viral genome that is towards the end of this RNA molecule. Advantages of tobacco mosaic virus. Tobacco mosaic viruses have a wide host range. They can move cell to cell mediated by virus encoded peptide. It's a great advantage. They exhibit rapid systemic spread in plants. TMB infections are maintained for the lifetime of the plant. And the tobacco mosaic virus RNA is replicated to high levels as autonomous sequences enhanced large quantities of proteins can be produced. This replication results in rapid and productive cytoplasmic gene expression. TMV also lacks the packaging constraints found in uh, found with non-helical viruses, including existing DNA plant virus vectors. The TMV genome can be manipulated as a DNA copy, then transcribed in vitro to produce infectious RS RNA molecules. Plant can be inoculated with the TMV vectors through a process called agroinfection. And transcription of tDNA in plant nucleus generates RNA capable of initiating self-replication in the cytoplasm. What are the characteristics of potato virus X? It's a flexuous filamentous plant virus that display helical symmetry, forms complexes of RNA and code protein subunits, and is of the size of 500 nanometers in length and 13 nanometers in diameter. Potato virus X DNA can be applied directly onto experimental plant via mechanical inoculation without the costly and time-consuming production of in vitro transcripts. This another virus which is used to develop viral vectors is potato virus X. Its genome sequence consists of five ORFs. The PX has a single stranded genomic RNA of about 6,430 nucleotides in length. The five prime end of PVX RNA contains a M7 G triple P G cap structure and its three prime end has a polyadenylate tail. The PBX genome has five open reading frames, as I already mentioned. The ORF1 encodes 164 kilodalton RNA dependent RNA polymerase, followed by three partially overlapped ORFs, known as the triple gene block, which code for 25 kilodalton TGPP1 the 12 kilodalton 
TGP P2 and the 8 kilo Dalton TGP P3 respectively. The last ORF in the PVX genome, or that is ORF5, is also transcribed through a subgenomic promoter and encodes a 25 kilo Dalton structural code protein. The triple genomic blocks and uh, code protein have been shown to function in this vector for cell-to-cell -cell movement in plants. PVX genome is cloned behind a T7 RNA polymerase promoter or a cauliflower mosaic virus promoter to serve as expression and or gene silencing vectors. PVX-based vectors have also been shown to silence endogenous genes through a process known as virus-induced gene silencing. That's a VIX to study the function of silenced gene. There are several genes which are expressed using this particular vector, foreign gene expression in potato virus X vectors. Some examples are given here. Foreign proteins are expressed as N-terminal CP fusions. The exogenous protein could be fused directly to N-terminus of CP gene. It maintains virus infectivity and cell-to-cell -cell movement by facilitating the production of both cleaved and recombinant CPs. The CP subgenomic promoter drives the transcription of a bisystronic mRNA containing both the foreign gene and CP gene separated by internal ribosome entry site. There are some limitations of potato virus vectors, which include foreign genes are expressed only transiently and therefore are not inherited by successive generations of plants. There are size constraints uh, to incorporate the genes of interest as inserted sequences in this vector. Recombinant viruses tend to be unstable when serially passed through, resulting in elimination of inserted or exogenous genes. Infected plants must be grown under containment to prevent recombinant virus escaping into environment. Here are the expression results of potato virus X gene transfer in plants. Five different inserts ranging in length from 261 to 1,758 base pairs human proinsulin, urine, interleukin-10, HRV1, NEF, petunia expands 1, and human GAT65 proteins were expressed using PVX vector into Nicotiana benthamiana plant for three sequential passages. Potato virus X and the related pot Vortex virus have also been constructed into expression vectors for vaccine production. For example, the L1 protein of canine oral papilloma virus has been expressed in transgenic tobacco chloroplast using a potato virus X vector. Similarly, human papilloma virus 16L2 minor capsid protein has been expressed in plants as a as part of a fusion protein with the PVX core protein. There's another vector from the family of Topra viruses. It is tobacco rattle virus, and there are vectors based on this, which are very popular for using virus-induced gene silencing. These are this TRV vector, it is a bipartite. It has got the two now. Uh, coding uh, molecules, genomes. One is uh, TRV1, codes for uh, replicates, two different proteins. Another is a moment protein, 29 kilo Dalton protein. And the last one is uh, a protein, the function is not very clear. And the TRV2, another genome molecule, codes for code protein and the two non-structural proteins. TRV2 can be modified to insert genes of interest, which are 
shown here for making a Wix vector. TRV1 is not altered as it is shown here in the figure B, whereas TRV2 non structural proteins can be eliminated and your gene of interest can be inserted here. And this functions as a template to produce mRNA which can form a hyperstructure with the mRNA called by the host genes and subject to dicer treatment for gene silencing. In summary, expression of foreign genes via viral vectors in the plants has proven to be a great advantage to understand the gene function production of therapeutic proteins. In this talk, I briefly discussed the salient features of some important plant viruses and how they can be modified to function as vehicles for the expression of the genes of interest in plants to produce pharmaceutical proteins or to decipher gene functions, etc. The ease of infection and gene expression by the virus-based vectors avoids the time-consuming tissue culture procedures to express foreign genes in plants. Use of virus-based vectors also avoids positional effect on the expression of foreign genes when integrated into plant genome and the somaclonal variation resulting from plant tissue culture. Thank you.